PowerhouseTV.com provides you with loads of energy saving tips and ideas, but here's something you may not know. According to Google, the energy it takes to conduct 100 searches on its site is equivalent to a 60 watt light bulb burning for 28 minutes. Do you ever get tired of changing light bulbs? <laughs> I know I do. Incandescent bulbs can burn out quickly and they're hot to touch. The price of LED bulbs kept people at bay for years, but now that price is coming down and that means switching to LEDs might make more sense and save you a lot of money. The LED or light emitting diode dates back to 1907 when British scientist Henry Joseph Round noticed a crystal gave off a yellowish light when a current ran through it. The technology was further developed to be used as indicator lights inside equipment. In 1962, GE created the first practical LED at the cost of $262 for a single bulb. In the 1970s, LEDs started popping up in watches, and by the end of the 80s, they were being used in traffic lights and brake lights. The Department of Energy announced a competition in 2008 to spur the development of ultra-efficient LEDs. Philips Lighting North American won the competition, proving high-efficiency, low-cost bulbs were possible. Since 2008, costs for LEDs have dropped 85% and are six to seven times more efficient, making them an affordable replacement for incandescent and CFL bulbs. LED bulbs have come a long way in the past few years. Many of them now look like regular incandescent bulbs, but they have some distinct advantages. LED bulbs are cool to the touch. They don't generate as much heat like a traditional bulb, and they last much longer, up to 15 times as long as a traditional bulb. And they also use much less energy, and that's the great news, about 70 to 90% less, which equates to about $55 in electricity costs over the lifetime of the bulb, and that's per bulb, so that's savings that could really add up. Now, there are some key differences, things you should know when shopping for an LED bulb. They have different color temperatures. If you like the old light of a traditional bulb, then you should consider getting LED bulbs with a warm or a soft white temperature. That's more of a yellowish type of light. On the other hand, if you'd like something a little more like daylight, then you'd want to go to the opposite end of the spectrum and get a more blue light. And manufacturers make it easy by putting this label on each package, and that's you find it right here on the front. Just look for the color temperature and you can make sure that you have the right color light that you want to have. Another bit of information that's different is learning to equate watts to lumens. Watts is the term used for traditional bulbs. We've all know about the wattage in bulbs, while lumens is used for LED bulbs. Again, manufacturers have made it easy on most packages, again, they put a chart that shows you how watts can equate to lumens. If you had a 60 watt bulb in your lamp before and you like it, make sure you replace it with an 800 lumen LED bulb. But the most important thing to look out for is right here on the package. Always make sure you look for that Energy Star label. That means the brand of bulb has been put through testing that keep it in line with Energy Star requirements and it will give you the best energy savings possible. But there is another type of common lighting fixture that can be easily updated with LEDs, and I'm referring to a can light. Now, you may not feel like you want to invest in tearing out the lights from your ceiling, but I have good news for you, you don't have to. There are LED fixtures that can replace old traditional can lights just by screwing them in. And there you have it. Easy tips on how to switch your home over to LED bulbs.